Hello YouTubers, uh, just going to throw up a quick video here on a um, little update on the uh, Hang Long uh, Snow Leopard tank I have here. Uh, it's an M26 Pershing. Uh, I put the uh, metal tracks on it uh, um, right after I unboxed it basically. Uh, on the instructions, um, there's not really anything that, to tell you how much uh, droop should be in them or how tight they should be. Uh, I tried to find some videos on YouTube and didn't really see a whole lot. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, quite a bit of droop there. Uh, a little while ago, I thought, well, I'll take the uh, spare links out. I'll take a link out and, and, and see where I'm at. And it was just, uh, at that point, it was just too tight. Um, it was putting a lot of pressure on this rear wheel and the suspension. Um and would uh, almost give the tank kind of a rocking effect while you were driving it just because the suspension would be full out on these guys but uh, these front one and this rear one they were kind of compressed it also uh, robbed a lot of power out of the motor they were just just too tight so I ended up putting the links back in um, you know when it's sitting on the ground obviously you don't see the slack um, you don't really see to see, really seem to see any slack at the front. I mean, you got these fenders that kind of block it anyway, but you don't really see a lot of, a lot of droop up there because these these are stationary; they're not spring loaded, and uh, they're so close together. Um, maybe that's the way it was intended to be. I just uh, when you're picking it up, you get that droop, and sometimes you set it down. The tracks a little tracks a little offset. And you, you'll hear these kind of slip in and click into the the V-guides and these idler wheels. But uh, it's no big deal. Everything works fine. I haven't any issues with the track trying to come off or, or breaking anything. I just thought I'd post a video because I didn't really see any on YouTube. Kind of giving you a, an idea how much slack should be in these guys. Uh, if I take it off of the block here. As you can see, sitting, it looks fine. You know, reversing, you seem to, the drive wheels kind of push it up here. But like I said, it was too tight, just taking one link out. I know the uh, the more expensive, like uh, Tamiya tanks, I know they have these front idlers. You can adjust them out a little bit uh, to take up slack or loosen the track off if that's what you're, that's what you're looking for. Just uh, the hang longs don't, don't offer that but like I said uh, even with the slack that's in there it, everything seems to work fine I haven't any issues it's been a good tank I haven't broke anything um, other than I did break the uh, this on the machine gun where it sticks in I had to glue it But other than that, it's, it's been a good tank. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, when you go to put your metal tracks on, <clears throat> they come with uh, come with spare parts. And here's here's the little metal rods right there. They they'll bend pretty easy uh, when you're when you're trying to get them in the end caps and then slide them through. You just got to be really careful with them once they're. Uh, once they're slid through all the track links, I mean, obviously they're not going to bend at that point. They're going to be pretty durable, just uh, on their own, trying to trying to get them in the end caps and then slide them through. You just got to be careful. You can really tweak them and bend them. As you can see, like some of my links, they kind of you got to kind of force them flat, and that's probably because they're a little they're a little tweaked, but nonetheless the seem to be holding up. I haven't broken any of the links in the track. I haven't broken any of those those steel uh, steel rods. Anyway, it's just a quick little video just to kind of give any people an idea that you know you're gonna have you're gonna have some uh, some slack in those tracks, or you know if they're too tight, your tank's just gonna be it's just gonna slow it right down. And, uh, like I said, it. The suspension wasn't sitting flat, you know, these these idler was kind of compressed up. This idler was kind of compressed up and you know, if 
forward and backwards. You almost got like a rocking motion out of the tank. Um, but uh, with the slack in there, it, it works just fine. Uh, anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you've upgraded your tank with metal tracks or you're going to just uh, as far as the hang lungs go, I know the Tamiya is, like I said, you can adjust this, this front idler out to take up some slack and kind of get the tension where you want it. But with these guys, you're, you're kind of limited. Uh, anyway, like I said, hope this video was, was helpful. Uh, everybody, enjoy your RCs.